Hey guys, welcome to another recap of Bachelor Pad. Last week, Chrisley and Wes were sent home. All right, so now, right now, there's seven girls and four guys. Don't hate the players, hate the game. I just hate the show. I'm sorry. It, it's really, it sucks. So Chris Harrison drops a bomb on the house. Three ladies are going home in like two seconds so pack all your crap up because we're going to be playing spin the bottle so the guys it turns out are going to be the ones picking their partners so if you haven't hooked up with anybody bye so it's gonna they're gonna be competing as couples from now on so Kipton got to choose first and of course he chooses uh Snow White Tenley and then Kovacs chooses Elizabeth duh Jesse B chooses Peyton, <laughs> and Dave chooses Natalie. So yeah, the bridesmaids, never a bride, all go home. Bye, Nikki, Gwen, and Ashley. At least you got to leave with your dignity. Uh, good news for the other couples, though, minus Jesse B and Peyton. You don't have to meet in the dumpster anymore. Now you can, like, make out in front of everyone as much as you want. Great for us. All right, so Elizabeth, ugh, I just cannot stand this girl. She is dumb as wood. She even takes Jinko Biloba. And yeah, she didn't even know what it was called. Guess what? It's not helping. Everybody in the house is getting it on now, except for Jesse and Peyton, just in case you were keeping score. All right, so the competition this week, it's a water balloon catch. You remember the one from grammar school. Sometimes you play it with water balloons, sometimes you play it with eggs. All right, you throw it to your partner, it breaks, you're out. Except you get three strikes, you're out on this one. And each time you successfully clear a round, you take one step back. So the first one to be out was Peyton and Jesse B. Y'all suck. They had three breaks in a row. Same thing happened for Kipton and Tenley. Three breaks in a row, they were out. Then Elizabeth, same thing, three breaks in a row, yeah, out. So all Dave and Natalie needed to do was make one successful catch. They broke the first one, but then they caught it on the second one. So Dave and Natalie win the roses and they're safe this week. Whatever. So Peyton's all bummed out because her and Jesse were the only outsiders left. So she's pretty sure that she's going home. But Natalie and Tenley are trying to cook up a scheme to get rid of Elizabeth and Kovacs. So the date card arrives for Dave and Natalie. And yeah, there's a Lamborghini outside, which they didn't even know about yet. And Elizabeth and Kovacs totally get in it, start making out. She's raping him on the hood. They're practically giving her a gynecological exam with the camera as she's laying on top of it. That was really uncalled for, ABC. Not cool. So she's a total whore. What do you want? Dave loved driving it when he finally got the stank out from Elizabeth. And everyone else is sitting around the house speculating, do you think they're going to do it? Do you people have a life? When was, you know, you're not supposed to talk about stuff like that. So when they got to the little destination, which just happened to be Molly and Jason's camping house from that season when they had the overnight camping trip, they have a little photo shoot on the car. Dave's not so sexy. All right. <laughs> at least he's not good at posing like a girl. So we find out that Dave and his dad are estranged. Strange. So wait, cheer up. It's hot tub time for Dave and Natalie and Kip and Ten. Uh, Natalie wants to get rid of Elizabeth and Kovacs, but Dave has made a pact with Kovacs, and I think he has a secret relationship with him on the side. So, meanwhile, back at the house, Elizabeth and Kovacs, they're really into trouble. They sneak into the fantasy suite, with a camera crew, of course, and it's the age-old, she wants romance, he wants sex. So they have sex. Yeah, they did. And he already is apologizing for it. She's like, you're so selfish. You never do anything romantic. It's all me. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. What do you want from me? I'm worth more than the 250000 So Tenley totally sees them. 
and reports back to the rest of the house. Dave, like I said, has a man crush on Kovacs. It was like really weird when they got back from their date and they like jumped into bed with them in the fantasy suite. It was like Dave wanted to push the girls away and just get into bed with uh, Kovacs. It was really uncomfortable to watch. So the little backstory this week, Peyton is trying to convince Tenley to keep her. And then Tenley goes to Kipton and is like, yo, we should keep uh, Jesse and Peyton because it's going to work to our advantage. So it, the big news this week is it's not couples voting. It's individuals voting for couples. That changes everything. Excellent. So Jesse even goes to talk to Kipton and makes the argument, you know, if you get rid of me and Peyton next week, it's going to be the two boyfriends in the house and you're going to be the third wheel and you might as well kiss your butt goodbye. But if you keep me, I'll have you back next week. So after the vote, you would think that Elizabeth and Kovacs are going home, but they're not because it was total bull S. I was like, what the fuck? I couldn't believe it. Jesse and Peyton are eliminated. These girls do not have a backbone. So Tenley's all like, hey, let's have a pajama party. And everybody's like, okay, if pajama equals naked, uh, next week they're going to bring a little class to the show. So it's going to be the ballroom dance competition. And yes, they're having all stars on. Louis Van Amstel. Edith Sluinska, and Chelsea Hightower. You're not going to want to miss it. Also, a little spoiler for, for y'all. Judging the competition, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Jake Pavelka. And, <laughs> yeah, the Canadian one. Oh, my God, what's Jillian? Thank you. I couldn't even remember. And I think there's one other, too. I think it might be Trista. I'm not sure, but you'll have to tune in to find out. So, till next week, much love.